What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're talking specifics about the biggest change that should be coming with the next Escape from Tarkov patch, which is the move from Unity 2018 to Unity 2019. I personally have a few years experience working in the game industry, and I still keep in touch with friends who have experience working with Unity 2019. I actually have a friend who's a team leading effects artist that switched from Unity 18 to Unity 19 specifically as well, which is exactly what BSG are going to be doing. All of the friends that I've spoken to for the information in this video have over 10 years experience working in games from Double and AAA Studios, so they really know their stuff. When I asked these friends to dumb down the changes for me, this is what they said. The specific responses were that Unity 19 would provide a lot more opportunities for volumetric fog, post-processing, better lighting, and better materials. The next thing they mentioned was the new rendering pipeline, which they all agreed was a great improvement over Unity 18, but it would be a lot of work. Lastly, they mentioned Unity 19 has a bunch of bug fixes from stuff left in Unity 18. Apparently, Unity themselves break stuff all the time, and Unity 19 has some fixes for that stuff that they broke. So first we have Volumetric Fog, which in EFT is in a weird place right now because it decides to show up inside buildings where of course it absolutely shouldn't be. This also allows you to see a little too well in darkness as well as outside at night without NVGs. From the sounds of it, BSG might be able to do something about that with this engine update or at least more efficiently handle it. We have all seen post-processing by now with the recently added post-processing processing effect settings, so maybe we will be seeing some improvements to those, whether they change their settings, or at least change their effectiveness, or they change how they tax our PCs. I personally don't use them at all, so I would not be the one to ask about these changes if they end up going through with them. Better lighting and materials is always a good thing. The lighting likes to act very strange sometimes, especially with shadows or when looking in and out of buildings, so maybe this change will allow them to handle that issue more efficiently. The improved materials could mean a lot of things, but EFT is already at a reasonable level of material quality, at least in my eyes, so I don't know if they would do too much with that. But as long as it doesn't create more issues, there's definitely nothing wrong with things just looking better. Then last but not least, there's the new rendering pipeline. The render pipeline affects how efficiently an artist can work on a game to build its assets. Unity's documentation describes this as artist-friendly workflows that let you quickly and easily create optimized graphics. With all the problems that we've been seeing with frames in Escape from Tarkov, let's hope this helps BSG deliver some more optimized content more quickly in the future. Again, with EFT still being very much in development, BSG are building a lot of this game to be tested and not to be shipped, which are two very different things. Once tested and iterated on, then we are looking more like the final product. You can't have a good final product without iterating on an older version of it first though. And that, of course, is what we're here to do. It seems like the new dev tools and especially the rendering pipeline will allow BSG to move much quicker and more more efficiently, which is nothing but good news for us. That's all for today, guys. If you want to learn more about Escape from Tarkov or its development, then you can check out my playlists for it here. If you are looking for people to play with, then you can join our Discord below. If you like this video, then you know the drill. I really appreciate the people who do. Otherwise, I hope you at least learned something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.